Hello everybody, this is Carl from The Vinyl Guys. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to do the custom cut function within the Roland Verseworks 6 software. This function, for those that don't know, a custom cut is allows you to separate a large print and cut file job down into separate pieces to make it more manageable for yourself and for the machine. So today we're going to be doing it on a VG2540 although it is available on every Roland print and cut machine to anything from the VM20 up to the XR640 and also on the VG original, VG2, VG3, SG2, SG3. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we've got our job ready. In this instance, we're going to use the Vinyl Guys logo. As you can see in the special items, we have our cut line detected, which is the normal cut. And that tells you that it's detected a cut line and it will cut round your image where you've told it to. So what we'll do is se we've selected the job, go into settings. So your job settings page post pop pops up. And what will happen with this one is you all you're doing for starters is to set up your page size and how many copies. So you click your get media width. It is measured at 720, which is just the width of vinyl I'm using at this moment in time. This will just tell me how many copies I can fit on the width of the vinyl. And then what we'll do for copies, we'll just do the maximum amount of print and cut you can do in verse, which is 250. And what this will do, this will tell me how long that job is going to be. So it's calculated the job is just short of 10 metres, so we'll, we'll go for 9.5 metres long. The custom cut function, as I say, this will separate, this gives you the opportunity to separate your job into different sections. So rather than printing the whole 9.5 metres, sending it all the way back through, you can separate it into different pieces. So you can print and cut half a metre, print and cut half a metre, print and cut half a metre. That just allows you to manage the job a lot easier and to keep the print and cut on, on track. Right, so we've got the amount of copies, we've got the width. What we want to do now is set the custom cut up. So at the top, it's really important to remember actually is the width. So the width is 720. Always keep that in mind when you're doing the custom cut. So you drop that down, custom cut. Like I say, it's really important to remember the width because if you click get media width it will default back to custom roll and it will completely disregard the custom cut setting you've just made so we'll set up custom cut i will manually type in the 720 it took before you can copy and paste but what this will do is just set up my page and now a height becomes available. So once you select the custom cut, you'll then have a height. And this essentially is how long you want to set these individual pieces. So by default, it's set to 2.6 meters. But what we'll do as starters, I always start off at a meter. So I press enter. And what it will do, it will separate the 9.5 meter job into meter increments. So what it will do, it will print a meter, then it will cut a meter, and then it will move on to the next set and the same on and same on until it's completed the job. One thing with custom cut, I always start off at a metre and then tweak it as we go along. So you'll see at the bottom, there's about 100 mil worth of material that's not going to be used. As you can imagine, over a 10, over a 10 metre job, you're losing quite a lot of material. So as you can see there, you need to just try and tweak it a little bit. So I'm going to go down to 9, 10, press enter. And what you see, that utilises the space. Again, you can do it even shorter, so you can do 905, even down to 900. And all you're doing is trying to utilise this space here. Depending on the size of the job, you'll see on the right-hand side there is a fair bit of space. Again, most people have a job to scale, so you won't be able to change the size of it, but if you altered the size of the stickers, you'd obviously be able to get another one in each row there, so potentially another six stickers. So at this point, all you're doing is utilising the waste and the space 
that is in each individual page. Okay, at the bottom you see it's separated into 11 separate pages. So what it will do, again, it will print this one page, take it back to cut, then it will move on to the next 900 mil, print and cut, next 900 mil, print and cut, and so on until the job is completed. Once you're happy, you can then set up your job as you would. So choose what material you're printing onto, you can choose your quality. The amount of time in brackets is for the whole job, not per page. So for the whole 9.5 meters, it's going to take 95 minutes. So on average, 10 minutes per sheet. Once you're happy, press OK. And that is your job ready to go. Like I say, just a short tutorial of the custom cut. We, if you have any ideas of any individual videos you'd like to see done, any custom videos, feel free to get in contact with us. You can comment on the video, you can find us on Instagram, or drop us, drop us an email. But yeah, thank you for your time. Speak to you soon.